you just recently went to Hawaii. I did. You went to Kauai, right? I went to Kauai. Yeah, because I was there in October. And so I saw a bunch of your pictures and I was like, I was there. I was there. I didn't look as good as you did in those photos, but um, it looks like you had a great time. Thank you. I did. It's my favorite island. Yeah? Yeah. I've, well, I've only been to two. I've been to Maui and Kauai. But Same, so- actually. <laughs> I've only been to two, too, and it is also my favorite yeah, island. Yeah. I want to go to Oahu. Oahu yeah. looks like it would be a lot of fun too. What are some of your favorite places to go to visit? Like, what's your, been your favorite place? Um, I'd say Kauai has been my favorite place. Costa Rica yes. was my favorite place. Um, oh, this is this is hard. So I really like national parks. So I went mm. to Sedona recently. Oh I, yeah, I loved it there. I, I love so Sedona. Beautiful. Um, Alaska. I went to Alaska and I had a really great time there. Yeah. Like just the, the wildlife. It was, it was wonderful. Yeah. I went bear viewing. Which, how, how does that work? So they, uh, they fly you on a, a charter plane, um, to an island, not, not far away. I think it's called Katmai Island and there's mm-hmm. a bunch of coastal grizzly bears on the island oh, wow. and they're, they're on this plateau and they, they take you on a tour and the way... The the bears are used to people being around them. Like mm-hmm. they've they've been doing these tours for years. So these mm-hmm. bears have have seen these tour groups come come in. You know their mm-hmm. entire lives. So they've accepted us as part of their ecosystem. Mm-hmm. And they're also like there's plentiful like plentiful food on the island for them. So they're really <laughs> they're not aggressive bears. Mm-hmm. Um, and they take you and we behave in very predictable manners. And so you can just walk around. And at one point, like I looked, I looked into the distance and I counted like 20 grizzly bears in the distance. It's wow. crazy. How close do you get to them? I was pretty close. I was about 15 feet away from my mom and her cubs at one point, And we like sat down as a group and, and watched them for about an hour and a half. Wow. Yeah, and it's really surreal. You don't. You, I didn't feel like I was in danger. At Do they the time. come like with protection at all? No. <laughs> so no one has bear spray or anything. Uh, I mean, I'm sure they have bear spray. We didn't bring anything though. Right, but like you're, you're, you have tour guides. Right? Yes. they don't just like let you loose. No, no, like, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. yeah, we have the tour guides, and we're not able to like be, um, like I said, we're not able to like get up or move away from the group or talk loudly. None of that. It's right. it's very predictable as to not bother them, so we yeah. can observe them. That's awesome. You yeah. uh, after the show, I'm going to ask you um, for more details on that because my boyfriend's always wanted to go to Alaska. Like he's <sighs> a big outdoorsman. Yes, he would love Alaska and something like that. He would be really into. I think that's one of the coolest things I've ever done. Yeah, we went for his birthday once. I took him um, to a wolf sanctuary, and it was it was the most hilarious experience I've ever had. Not because of the wolves. But the woman who ran it was batshit crazy. Uh-oh. It was so <laughs> bizarre. Like, so she started off the whole thing, like, you know, being super strict about how you behave around the wolves and you can't like go in the cages with the wolves and you can't like stick your fingers through. All this stuff makes sense to yeah, me, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. But then like, so I paid for a private tour. So just the two of us and she just, and my boyfriend's like really good like with people, like he's got wonderful manners and he's very charming and like people love him, especially like crazy people. And she just loved him. So she took us into this wolf enclosure inside with her, which was fine. And then someone showed up to give her like a certificate of an award for something. So she got really excited. So she left us in the enclosure by ourselves and went to go get whatever the fuck this certificate was. Oh my God. And just left us in the enclosure with the wolves and they were just circling. Oh my God. Just watching us. And like, I honestly didn't feel in danger. Like you could tell like these were not aggressive wolves. Yeah. They've, They've been yeah. used to people. Yeah, but they were, but it was surreal. And we were just like, and this, of course, went against everything that she like yeah. talked about. So clearly, like, she doesn't really stick yeah. to the rules. She just, and then she went on to tell us about like the Illuminati Bible Uh-oh. and how like they were after her. And I mean, she, and she had like, 18 adopted children and like a bunch of them. I don't think that's possible. No, I don't think she officially adopted any of them. She was crazy, but like hilarious. It was like, it was so funny. It was just great because the experience was about the people who ran the wolf sanctuary, not Not actually about the wolves. It was, it was nuts. Yeah. It sounds pretty cool. So like experiences like that are, you know, what I think make like the best gifts. So 
Yeah. I so agree. you um have not actually really been shooting that much anymore, like professionally, right? Mm-mm. So what are you up to these days? Um, well, I live a little ways away, mm-hmm. <laughs> still in California. Um, but I'm kind of I'm kind of isolated and I to be honest, I hang out at home a lot and so You've always been that way though. Yeah. I remember when I first met you. You were very like you like I like to give up I like to get up early, I like yeah. to do yoga, like you were so <laughs> chill. Yeah. Thank you. Um so basically I've I've been doing Pilates every day. I've been trying to really focus on my health and fitness, eating mm-hmm. e- eating really well and you know, trying not to be stressed out, enjoying home. Um I have four dogs. Like I've acquired three dogs in, <laughs> in like the last six months. Aww. But I love them. They're my family. And so since I'm at home all the time, like it's just wonderful having them there. Yeah. Um and I've been I've been streaming on Twitch, which I really enjoy. I've always been a bit of a nerd. Mm-hmm. And so I thought, you know, it originally started because I I was playing video games anyway, and I was thinking, you know, instead of just wasting this time, I could do something productive with it. You mm-hmm. know, I can, you know, make a little bit of income. And then Twitch turned out to be this whole bigger thing that I didn't expect. And I, I really... people pay to watch you play. Is that how it works? Yeah, they, yes. Um, but crazy. it could be anything. Like, you can do podcasts on Twitch. Uh, a lot of people do it, you know, just chatting, um, ASMR, people paint on there. They, you know, they draw. It's really whatever you want. It's you're and the content creator. Pay to watch you do this. Stuff. They, yes, wow. yes. Um, but I, what I like about it is I have my chat room and I'm interacting with them the whole time. Mm-hmm. So it's really cool to um, interact with people on a personal basis, which I haven't done my entire career. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I have moderators in the chat, so there's no bullshit. There's no one in there like trolling me or anything Mm -hmm. like that. So I'm literally just talking to people who are super cool, who are fans of me, who want to compliment me, who want to help me in the game. And, Mm -hmm. you know, it's just chilling and playing video games. It's very enjoyable. Wow. 